So how's it going guys, it's your boy Jay from Inside CFC bringing you the info you want to know about the new proposed Stamford Bridge Stadium expansion. Obviously I did a video a little while back talking about, you know, when this all came out in the public. And now, yeah, I spoke about an a event or a meeting that was being held with um, season ticket holders, shareholders, neighbours, people from the surrounding area was happening at Stamford Bridge. That is actually happening at the time of me recording this. But basically the information that is going to be put out there obviously not I don't have it physically but I have it digitally and um, yes I'm gonna try and go over this in the best deal I can as well as using my own insight and I apologize if I miss anything out or I make a mistake we will do but there is a lot of information to try and get into such a short space of time so I don't want to make this video ridiculously long but I'm gonna try and put this make this video as comprehensive as possible with obviously all the images I have I do have images of the new stuff of bridge I know you want to see those so yes Let's get straight into the first images so that should be on the screen now. And that is of the proposed West Stand entrance. Now, as you can see, you straight away can get a feel of what this Stanford Bridge could be like. Now the tagline that's being used is, you know, it's a Westminster Abbey like inspiration and Roman Abramovich wants it to be almost like a cathedral. There's, you know, there's pillars, there's Gothic architecture all around this proposed Stanford Bridge, and it shows how much of an influence that Roman Abramovich is having on this build. And all I can say is it looks absolutely amazing. Now, it's not, you know, the state of the art, you know, ridiculously lighted stadium with glass panels and this. It's just the basics you want with an innovative and brand new feel about it, which is what we've needed for a very long time. Now getting on to the next picture, as you can see this is the South Stand Bridge entrance, obviously many of you would have used this and you can sort of see how this is going to be evolving into this cathedral like feel. And then we move on to again another picture talking about the pillars here with the you know nice Chelsea logos embroidered onto them. At the background you can see stairs which obviously um, provide you access uh, which will be a lot quicker and obviously having to go through and then having to wait and get your ticket in because I'm pretty sure what it looks like with these ones is that you just basically go up the stairs to your stand and then you use your tickets that will probably provide a lot quicker entry especially when you're running late for the game uh, it can be really annoying so if that is a lot it makes it a lot easier and then go to one of the most detailed pictures, one of the most ones that a lot of people want to see is how is this going to be different from what we currently have. So as you can see the picture now on the screen, of course, it's not the best of quality. I'm pretty sure you can make out what it is. So the yellow-ish colour is how the stands are currently built. And the dotted line slash outline is where the stands are going to basically evolve into. So as you can see, we've got the western south stand, north stand and the east stand, south east corner. And uh, as you can sort of basically see where these extra seats are going to come from, especially in the north stand. As you can see the north stand currently is only two tiers. And as you can see in this picture, the north stand is now three tiers with a roof a lot higher up than it currently is. Again, you can sort of make out where these extra seats are coming from in the east stand where it's sort of moved backwards and obviously still has the three tiers that it currently has but if you move backwards you can see there's a little bit at the back there I'm pretty sure that's probably to provide support as it's going to be a lot larger than it usually is again with the south stand it's moving backwards the last space for the extra seats to be put in place and it's also actually moved up a lot higher because as you can see um, the peak coming out is where the you know the roof cover is as you see the peak on the outline is a lot higher up which obviously allow the extra space and then also you can see with the west stand how the proposed extension is going to be put into there so Again, we move on a bit more to another picture, and this is what I'm talking about how it's taken in the, the inspiration from where Stanford Bridge came from with this sort of pointed like I don't even know how, how to describe that shape. Obviously, they basically use the exact same structure of it, but obviously, removing the dog track and is the dog track running track. What? what I, anyways, yeah, it's sort of taking the same exact feel and allowing us to be reached, you know, the 60 bars of capacity in a way that it's not just adding, you know, extra stand on top of the current Stanford Bridge. It is building a almost a brand new stadium and it's going to just be absolutely amazing if this is what we want to, um, if this is what we're actually going to be getting. And, Again, we move on to one of the last pictures that I'm going to show you uh, is the proposed site plan. Now, one of the main things that is going to be you know, absolutely amazing about this is the access from Fulham Broadway. There is actually, as you can see, Fulham Broadway is going to be linked into Stamford Bridge. So there's no, you know, having to walk down, you know, the, um, 
walk down the road and waiting to you know walk past your gate and walk in there is access straight from Fulham Broadway into the stadium which would be absolutely amazing uh, for fans in terms of getting into the stadium and one of the this is the last picture I'm actually going to show you now is I don't know what to say about this I don't know if this is just basically how they've obviously structured this up but as you can see it currently has work on progress so you can't see fully what else is written on this but as you can see you have the shed end the west stand the east stand, and then you have the north stand which obviously if you didn't know that is the Matthew Harding stand it doesn't actually say Matthew Harding stand it just says the north stand so I don't know if the Matthew Harding stand is obviously not going to be called the Matthew Harding stand. Obviously, it's a huge sentimental value if it was to remain, you know, the name not to change. But I, you know, I, I don't really know what to say about this, say about that topic. But it just looks like the North stand may not be called the, Math the Matthew Harding stand may not be called the Matthew Harding stand anymore. But yeah, um, in terms of details, uh, obviously I'm getting all of this from a small article, so I'll probably put up what I'm reading now on the uh, put up what I'm reading now um, on the screen. So bear with me, as you can see. Uh, most of the new seating capacity will be in the south stand and the two hotels and the concourse will be demolished The Bramage one in the new Chelsea to be for football only so many of you do know I think it's the Delta Hotel um, that is there at Stamford Bridge that's basically going to be removed to allow us the space remember when I was talking about in the last video how one of the reasons Fulham Council have denied us various times is because of the surrounding areas and how expanding the stadium would, have, would affect that but obviously if we can get rid of the hotel which allows us to have much more space that does help out a lot. But anyway, the benefits to the neighbourhood are include long, pla long planned pedestrian walkways above the railway line that de define the boundaries of the two sides of the site plus seats reserved for local residents despite the disruption the building of the new stadium will cause local Chelsea fans to be assured there will be at least guaranteed the Brownbridge ownership dynasty Part of Roman's reason for wanting to spend the best part of another billion pounds of Chelsea is to eventually hand over the stadium fit for a European football superpower to his eldest son, 21-year-old Akadai, who's inherited, inherited his father's love for the club. Now, as you can see, that is a brilliant touch there from Roman Abramovich because he wants to leave a legacy, and I am so happy with him to do that. That sounds like an absolutely amazing idea, and this is going to leave a legacy not just for obviously he saw his son this is going to leave a legacy for Chelsea Football Club this is going to be the point where Chelsea Football Club is going to be the club that it should have been you know 10 years ago when you know Roman Rand came he sort of saw what he could do he came he saw and once this new stadium has come I'm pretty sure this is the point where he has conquered and apart from you know providing funds for transfers he has done literally all he can for the club and that's pretty much all I can say now um, in terms of this article um, I can't really go much over it anymore um, without probably having some sort of issues in terms of saying the wrong or the right thing but I'm pretty sure I've said everything you guys need to know uh, obviously I've put in a lot of images so I'm actually going to just have them probably as a slideshow now so you're probably not even looking at me you're probably looking at those images again so yeah obviously if you do have any comments or any questions leave them down below if you want to tweet me it'll be at jayzik same it link will be in the description down below and uh, yeah obviously I hope everything goes to plan I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have leave a like drop a subscription and uh, yeah I was hopefully if I have anything more to update on this issue not issue it's not an issue at all it's an absolutely amazing thing if I have anything more to update on this topic, I'll make sure to make another video for you guys. Bring that out for you guys as soon as possible. So yeah, if you haven't enjoyed this video, um, leave a like. I've said this like four times now. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.